Hi, um, I'm Greg Farther, and I'm living with chronic McCulsonist syndrome. Could you tell us a little about yourself and the syndrome? I've been in and out of the hospital numerous times, especially when I was little. Uh, the doctors just don't know what's wrong with me. I've had numerous tests, but so far I'm the only, only person with this syndrome. The syndrome, it has heavy breathing. I sometimes I can't breathe at all. Um, it's my nasal passages will be clogged. Um, I, I get horrible migraines, and the worst is chest pains. Those can keep me up all night sometimes. All I really want is to be like a normal person and to have some friends too. Well, what about Brad? Hi, my name's Brad Scott. I'm uh, best friends with Greg. Uh, what can I say about Greg? We've known each other for so long. Junior high, high school, uh, college now. You know, we've pretty much stuck together all the way. I mean, even being next door neighbors since we were little kids. Has Greg's syndrome ever affected your friendship? <laughs> oh yeah. Whenever I go out with friends, well, mostly Brad's friends, actually they're all Brad's friends, um, something always goes wrong and it never ends up going how I planned. You know, people never really gave him a chance. Deep down inside, Greg's a normal person just like everybody else out there. And deep down inside, he's... He's got snot. <laughs> a lot of snot. Greg Foiler. What can you tell me about Greg Foiler? He was, he's the snot kid. No. What are we talking about? Greg Foiler? Oh, this kid? Yeah! Oh, man, he was such a dude. Such a dude! Could you, do you guys know Greg Foiler? You guys know Greg, right? Oh. He's the one who, he's Jill. Jill. Jill's gonna oh, be so hate mad. hate you if you ask who's talking about him. <laughs> who's, who's Jill? Oh my god, you guys are talking about Greg again? Let me tell you about Greg. Okay, Greg, I took him Um, have you heard about Jill? Oh, I have heard, I have heard about Jill. That was just all bad. It's not everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> we were sitting in class one day, and just all of a sudden he sneezes, and he just flies and hits the teacher right smack in the face. It was so nasty. Th that thing, that thing flew. I was, yeah. I was impressed. Well, he's gonna graduate, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So him? Mm -hmm. He was pretty cool, you know. We used to just kind of chill out and play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. So, we used to hang out a lot. It was, what? Yeah, what could you tell? Are you? I don't. Are you talking about Greg no. Foiler <laughs> again? Excuse me, Wait, let me whoa, tell you whoa, something. Me. Let me tell you something about Greg Foiler. I took him to my junior prom. I took him to my prom and I wore the most gorgeous dress, $400. I paid $400 for that dress that I paid and he sneezed all over it. Does your condition make learning difficult? Well, no. Um, I am required well, that I think, to do what every other student does. Um, my, my symptoms do not hinder my capability of doing the homework and the assignments. Um, sometimes there are situations where someone will wear deodorant or perfume that I cannot handle and I will sneeze. Is there a cure for your condition? Um, as of now, no. And I don't know when there will be a cure. Um, the doctors say they don't know either. Uh, I'm the only known person with this syndrome. I just want something that will make me be able to be a human being. Just a regular, normal human being. And I hope someday that will happen. Well, Greg, thank you so much for your time. Your story has been truly inspirational to me as well as as all my crew here today, um, just seeing someone who has a condition that nobody... <laughs> Damn it, Greg!